go a little stroll to the local market and we come here every evening many different things and there's some beautiful food and some rather bizarre looking stuff and it's blowy yeah. Come on. Mm. The melon. Very tasty. 30 baht for 3 kilos. Which is about well, 3, two, three. 10 baht each. And we have the good old favorite donut. And there is another type of mango. Be a little bit harder now. Uh, Lynchy, why not get at home? Um, see more food. Uh, these are like apple, but very, very juicy. Uh, another type of uh, mango, I think. I just wait on the wife. Uh, strawberries, we get them at home. As I was saying, we come here every evening. Eighty uh, percent of the stalls are the same people. You would find the odd new food source. Some very nice, different foods. Coconut pork. Mm, pork uh, Aloe. Okay. Yeah, I have pot noodle. I'm not buying pot noodle for me. And one of Thailand's most popular dishes would be fish. Curry crab. Curry crab. What is curry do or work? I think this is duck, I'm not sure. Cooked like this skewer. Mm. Oh no, this is uh, chicken. You can see by the claws. Which is another popular dish, is chicken feet. My wife, uh, I'm ashamed to say it, but my wife actually loves chicken feet and I do not even, I can't watch her eat them, never mind. No, I'm not going to try. Not even if I was paid. Well, okay, if I was paid I probably would. And then throw my guts up and the chicken feet. Wife is going to go for some chicken and coconut curry, which looks absolutely beautiful. And the smell around here is just uh, if you weren't hungry, you would be. Today's video was meant to be on uh, going to immigration, which we did, and thankfully, we're home again. Uh, the video I will not be editing or uploading because. Uh, it would not be doing much justice for anybody, especially me. And uh, big fish. And uh, plenty of pack or vegetables. Swadikap. As you can see, people are very friendly. All Thai people are very friendly. It's very sunny and there is a nice breeze blowing. Back to the chicken feet subject, there we go. Yes, that's chicken feet. And God knows what it looks like. Pork of some sort. Now, I'm rather game when it comes to trying food, but no, chicken feet. 
Let me think what else I would not try or have not tried in Thailand. Um, as a farang, most people think I not like spicy food, but I love spicy food. And when they see me eating a chili, well, their jaw drops. Whilst minds move. Uh, finally, the wife has got dinner. Okay, and there's a stall that was not here. Not usual. Uh, baby pineapples. Uh, this is more my scene. As I'm sure anybody that knows me knows I'm into my electronic stuff. If it's not broke, break it and try then to fix it. And if not, put it in the box and someday, somewhere, somebody might want to buy it. I know a couple of my subscribers uh, know that I have got an attic full of stuff. Stuff and things, we call it. And uh, for people who have got like, like my wife got, she used to uh, own a, a t-shirt shop, clothes shop, but mainly t-shirts. And because competition, like anywhere, any country is big, uh, the shop had to close. And here we go with the avocado stand, which hit and miss. I have introduced the wife to uh, avocado on toast. Yeah, you choose. Yeah, yeah, for these other people selling clothes, uh, whatever, uh, 250 baht for one day to set up a stall. Over there in the far corner, uh, they sell whiskey, homebrew whiskey. I don't like shopping at all, uh, but when it comes to food shopping, no, this type of food. And street food, well, very similar. I enjoy because you're always going to find something different. And this is my favorite part of this stall, cucumber, where I have made a short video of uh, the treat. I call it namprik, namprik, namprik. Okay. Tomorrow? Yeah, it's all right. If I can get some money sorted. No, no, no. no. Go for tomorrow. And here you can just buy some just rice. Dessert, very, very sweet. Bits of pig's heads. And that is the shop, the market shop done. 